Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals 1 over x plus 2, and we need to find the derivative using the definition of the derivative. Now, our definition right here tells us that we can write f prime of x, or y prime, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function, right, and we're going to put x plus h in for x. So 1 over x plus h plus 2, like that, minus the function itself, 1 over an x plus 2, all over h. Now this gets to be a little tricky here, so where do we go with that? Well, I'm going to try to combine this numerator to be kind of like one fraction, right? It's like two parts are set. We're subtracting here. Let's bring together like terms. So again, keep writing the limit because we haven't taken it yet. Of and we're going to multiply an x plus two by this numerator. So we've an x plus two up here, and then it's being subtracted by this the uh, the denominator of the first part, the uh, x plus h plus two, like so. Parentheses don't really matter there, but we need it for this part. And that's going to be all over combined being multiplied. x plus h plus 2 times an x plus 2. And all of that is over good old h. Now, notice here that this numerator here, we distribute the minus sign. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of we have the x plus 2 minus the x minus the h minus the 2, all over the x plus h plus 2, and times an x plus 2, all over the h. Now here's where the beauty again happens. We can cross off the 2's right here, they cancel, and we cross off the x's. So what does that leave us here? It leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of just a negative h value over the x plus h plus 2 times an x plus 2 there. Now, we're all divided by the h. When we divide by the h, we actually, if, we, if, you're, if you remember how to do that, we can actually just put it right here. It means the same thing. And that helps us visually see that these h's cancel. So again, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of a negative 1 over our x plus h plus 2 and x plus 2. It is now at this point that we can take the limit. We're not dividing by 0 if we do that. We can directly plug in 0 for h, and this is what we get. We have a negative, put the 1 out here, and we have an x plus 2, right, because the h is 0, don't really need to put that in there, and an x plus 2. Simplify that out, negative 1 over Multiply that out, we have an x squared, and then plus a 4x plus a 4. And so our final answer, our dy dx here, our derivative, is a negative 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 4. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.